Hey, welcome back to The Buzz. I'm Jay Gates. B Styles. This is the part that's called The Buzz, where we take topics uh, and we just throw them out there. Yeah, and just kind of, you know, really quickly. I want to say. Let them know stuff. Right, right. <laughs> so the first topic is Obama versus Mitt Romney. Yeah, they're running for president. That's it? Um, when you're running for office, people say negative things about you. You're going to say negative things about them and try to get people to try to get people to sway one way or the other. Uh, personally, you know, I, I don't even have to tell you who I'm voting for. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, you know, and anybody in this room that look like me and you in terms of this should know who they voting for, too. Well, somebody <laughs> said to me, are you voting for Obama just because he's black? Yep. I go, hell yeah. <laughs> exactly. I said, why, why not? The other people messed it up for 100 years. Why not let us, let us try it for four to eight? <laughs> right. But what I do have to say, this, they're doing some serious tactics right now, the Republicans. Mm -hmm. They done raised so much money. They're so scared of this man having power. They done raised so much money. Now they're trying to repeal a lot of voting acts. So now if there's some states, if you don't have an ID or a license, you won't be able to vote. So they're coming up with every little thing. So listen to you, go vote. It's very, very, very important that you get out. We, we fought hard to get him in. Let's give him four more years. Can't do no worse than the last guy that was there. You, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Second one, this guy. I don't know why we waste time on this. This could be his brother. Uh, he he kind of <laughs> looked like him, right? Zimmerman. Now someone's coming out and said he, he molested them when he was a child. I uh, got new yeah. audio tape. You want me to take this first? Yeah. For, on, on the views of, of Jonathan Gates, does not represent that of Cornerstone Live, being in TV, uh, Channel 23, or nothing like that. But listen, who cares? He killed the kid, that's all we care about. He's going to get molested a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's going to get molested a whole lot. So who cares? It says karma is a mother. Yeah. So, so you molested? Good. Your turn. <laughs> all this talk about, you know, can the current Team USA beat the original Dream Team? To me, it's like apples and oranges. I mean, if you take that Dream Team at the time and their prime, you know, and put these guys in their prime, it's a completely different level of play. Completely different level of play. The league was completely different then. It was a forward center league. Now it's a guard forward league primarily right. with one or two centers sprinkled in. So, I mean, it's a completely different game. So, I mean, who even cares? This is just for, like, sports writers to give them something to talk about. Personally, I don't care. Well, it, <laughs> like you said, apples and oranges, it's like who's a better fighter, Muhammad Ali right. uh, versus a fighter today. Could he do this? Could he do that? Would, would the running backs of that day, who knows? But, but you heard what Charles Barkley say, only two or three of y'all could have played with us. Right, and you know what? And the reality is the Dream Team has a gold medal. Theirs is still yet to be determined. So, right. So, <laughs> so right now, you know, when they if they win one, we can have that conversation. But right now, we don't need to talk about it. <laughs> exactly. I know they got more money than the other team. Oh. Okay. For sure. Football camp opens up. That's the that's uh, colleges, pros, and Pop Warner. Now, this is the best part of the year for me. The uh, the best thing, <laughs> you know, God has to be a male, and I'll tell you why. He he created football and the NFL Network. That, that's it right there. So you can get so much football. I can't wait. Oh, my God. I wonder if we're going to do a, a Cornerstone Live report from Patriots um, training camp. That would be nice. Yeah, that would, that would be I cool. wonder if the super producer can pull that off. That would be cool. I was just actually, I just got back from football camp with, um, with Patrick Chung. Did you? Uh, so, you know, he, he's excited about the upcoming season, you know, and I was also trying to get him to, uh, to help us out over at the school, you know, financially and just coming through every once in a while when he gets some time, which he said that he'd be willing to do. So I'm um, looking forward to making this thing happen for us. That, that's the thing. <laughs> it's supposed to get to 100 degrees tomorrow. you got to stay cool. More important than staying cool, you got to stay hydrated, you, especially looking on your elders, watch children, and, 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 if you, and you're going to sweat a lot. you got to put that back in you. Uh, uh, where People are dying from heat exhaustion and heat strokes. So be very careful tomorrow with children. If you're in a daycare, keep those kids inside. Please do not take those kids outside in the sun. Oh, and one more thing. It's not on the buzz list, but tomorrow morning 
at 10.30 a.m., black history is being made. The bridge on American Legion Highway is being named and honored and dedicated to the Tuskegee Airmen. Okay. So, so that's at 10.30 a.m. right there on American Legion Highway, which is history. If you don't know anything about them, you Google them. Take your young children who don't want to vote. Take your young children with their pants down. Take them and let them understand people died so you can have the right to wear the clothes you wear, say the raps you say, sing the songs you do. So this make sure you understand that part about this. And if it's hot, stay in the house. When they see it. Okay, Boston's Violet Ways, What's Really Good. That's, that's going to be our next segment um, that's going to be coming. We're going to investigate violence in the street. And, and, and you might not like some of the stuff that you're going to hear because I know what you think you see. But from my point of view and this brother's point of view, who's been out here for a while, who, who, whose father's in the street, we're going we're, we're gonna to look at it a different view. I'm not going to look at it like the police look at it, the investigators on the news. We're going to go back to the households where it all starts. Because how the hell are you scared of a child that you feed? I don't understand that one. <laughs> if I'm feeding you, I'll starve you to death and you won't be able to fight. <laughs> hey, if, 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 if you don't know what to do with your kids, Kings of Comedy, Bernie Mac set. Bust them to the right <laughs> me. He'll let you know exactly what you need to do for your kids. I got you. <laughs> like Bernie Mac said, you ain't got to worry about why your kids are on the board. I'm going to bust them to the right me. We'll be right back after these questions. Right here, okay? Okay, right here. We're going to do nothing right here. I'm going to bust them.